all right guys welcome back if you're new here you might want to subscribe to the channel because here we do music movies tech reviews uh, movie reviews and um, short films the whole nine documentaries and all that um, so if you like to watch movies or you like to learn how to make movies then I guess I have something for you on this channel so please subscribe for those of you following my channel this is the second music video I'm shooting with the black magic pocket cinema camera 6k pro and um, the first one I did break down check out the videos I have it linked down somewhere but I did talk about my experience using the camera how easy it was how the batteries lasted you know uh, Sony uh, NPF batteries yeah those worked really great but it was mainly it was 99% indoors yes I did not take into consideration that number one it was outdoors and number two it was California and the sun was crazy hot so we were shooting by the rocks in San Bernardino okay now the artist his name is Max um, uh, all the way from Boston he flew into LA and then uh, we rode over to San Bernardino to to make the shoot it was hot it was all outdoor it was all under some terrible sun and um, yeah we had to you know it was it was a different experience now how did the battery play the camera played out very well the image is still the same there's no there's no change I didn't have any problems you know the gen 5 color science everything on point but the batteries geez the batteries this time was going for no less than 15 no more than 15 minutes it, it sounds like a joke but it's it was like what I was having 15 minutes and at the end at that rate I could not the charging on the side was not proportional is that how I should say it in other words you know I couldn't keep up with the rate at which the batteries were dying and so at some point I stopped shooting and let the battery charge now I had a, I had my VMAT in fact I had two VMAT batteries there and but I didn't come with the cords connecting cords to power the camera I just felt good from the last experience that it was gonna be all good like these batteries have shown themselves but I guess we learn I'm sharing this so you can learn and you know don't take things for granted I thought I had batteries there but unconsciously because I really wasn't depending on the VMAT batteries I didn't come with the connection I didn't come with my rig to set up you know just to power off if I want to use the VMAT battery um, nothing like that so I ended up only using the VMAT batteries as power um, to charge the um, MPF batteries I have I have this double two-in-one charger um, so that it will be charging on the side but still with that I could not meet up with the rate at which the batteries were dying now I had this friend of mine Emmanuel who was um, um, another cinematographer who was right on set with me doing my behind the scenes shots thank you Emmanuel um, he had a power bank um, power he had his uh, he was shooting on the pocket 4k okay and he had power bank and he decided to at some point help me out with my power with his power bank to power up because I was doing the main shoot right so and that ended up in a bad way because it almost crashed my my 6k pro because it turned out that the power bank could power the 4k and not the 6k for some reason it powered the 6k for a while and then it shut it down and for a long time i could not get the camera back on so this is the part this is the story i left out from the previous video that i'm replacing this with and uh yes i think um this is good to know if you want to power the pocket 6k or the 6k pro that i've found out like a power bank make sure it gives out 15 volts and 
a minimum of 3 amps. Okay, now for some reason the 1.5 amps works on the Blackmagic 4K, which in my opinion I still won't risk my 4K if I, you know, if I was shooting on the 4K I won't risk it because even on the 4K it did say 3 amps required. So you might want to watch out for that. At the end of the day, the power port, it looks like it, it needed some break through the actual um, uh, waipu or YP um, connection okay so that good thing is that's what I'm charging with now I'm using the camera the black magic uh, 6k pro right now and I'm using that connection and uh, everything is working fine right now so that's the good thing that I didn't have to send it back so um, but I ended up surviving the shoot um, good thing we started on time everything went in order and um, Besides this battery, it was a success. And um, yeah, so now let's check out some clips from the shoot and uh, see what went down. Yeah, so that's it. Uh, pretty much it was a nice experience. I'm going to let out more clips later on, um, plus a proper big breakdown from this uh, music shoot. Um, from start to finish, I'm sure uh, you might want that. If you do, please write in the comment below and let me know so that I kind of, you know, work on it a lot faster. But the bottom line is from start to finish, from treatment to, you know, final post-production, so that's it uh, for the upgrade i'm not going to talk much about the camera upgrade um but basically it was a smarter uh, move from black magic i'm happy that they they are taking it seriously and uh, if it's possible that an upgrade will bring autofocus continuous autofocus to the camera it's obvious black magic would do it over time so that's a company that you want to hang around with I'm gonna keep using the upgrade and see what else, what other feature, feature is there that really is what talking about, like the time code. Um, yeah, time code is something, it's big for, for movies, it's big for uh, documentaries, and interviews and stuff like that. Probably weddings too, yeah. You know, it will help your workflow. So we'll probably wanna check how that works out. All right, so thanks guys. I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.